Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Flip Don't Flop. My name is Adrian Donovan, and in this video, we are going to be discussing the top 10 in-store thrift finds that I have found over this past week. There are some pretty good ones in here. You might be surprised. Stay tuned. So first up, we have this pair of Gravity Defier. And these are brand new, never been worn. I paid $6 for these in the thrift store. And I should be able to sell these for about $100. And that's going to make it to where, once the fees have been taken out and the shipping is taken out, should make it to where I profit about $70 on this pair. Next up, we have this pair, nice pair of ankle boots. This is from AGL, and AGL is a really expensive brand. Uh, I actually find it fairly often, but I don't find the boots too often. I usually just find like ballet flats. With these being in pretty good condition and a pretty modern style, I should be able to sell these for $70, $80. I paid $8 for these in the thrift store. And that's going to make it to where my estimated profit is about $50 on this. Pretty solid. <clears throat> Next up is this interesting looking boot. I paid $7.99 for these. However, these were 20% off. So I paid closer to the five for them. This brand is called Fortress of Inca, which I had never heard of it before, but could tell it was a good quality boot. Nice leather, good construction. So of course I looked it up. There aren't a ton of comps on it, but the comps are fairly strong. And these look like they've only been worn a few times. I don't think there's any problem for me to sell these for about $60, 70 uh, They're pretty interesting style, good boot. Um, so yeah, with this pair, that's going to make it to where my profit is about $45.50. <clears throat> Next up is this, and this is Stuart Weitzman. It's kind of like a gold collar boot has like a side zip here the boot is in really good condition i gave eight dollars for these sewer weitzman is a brand that i normally pick up if it's in good condition the price is right and this is kind of a more modern style Stuart weitzman i normally find pretty old Stuart Weissman in the thrift store. With these being a more modern style, a nice gold color, and good condition, I should be able to sell these for, I'd say, around 80, maybe 90. Um, paid eight bucks for these in the thrift store. So it's gonna make it to where my profit is approximately 60-ish. found this, it's a pair of Prada, it's just a slip-on loafer with like a low heel. They do have a bit of wear to the tips, but not too excessive. I am going to end up polishing these myself. See the price of $35, however, these were half off when I got them, so I paid $17.50 for these. It's a really good price. Uh, I kind of wish these had something to indicate their Prada, but they don't. But even still, 
with them just being a Prada slip-on loafer, I can still sell these for 80 to 90, um, depending on how well like they polish up. So not too bad paying 1750. Uh, it's going to make sure my profit is about 50 to 55 on these. Next up, we have these. This is a pair of Gucci that I found in the thrift store. They have some studs around the back of the heel. It's a nice little touch. These also need polished. I think these probably came from the same person. I got these from the same store as the Prada. I think they're even the same size, to be honest. These are in overall pretty good condition. Once they get polished up, they'll look pretty nice. And, of course, they're definitely genuine, but they are a little bit vintage. The footbed needs cleaned up a little bit. See, 45, but these were also half off, so I paid $22.50 for these. Once fees and shipping are taken to, into consideration, I think, I think I can probably sell these for $110, $120. Um, they're not super special, but for $22.50, I was not going to let them uh, just sit there. Should be able to profit about $70 or so on these. Uh, Gucci, you don't find very often in the thrift stores. So this was a pretty uh, exciting find, i got to be honest. Next up, we have this sneaker. I had actually honestly never heard of this brand. This brand is Birchbury. And I think this is probably the first time I have ever seen this sneaker. And it got my attention because just looking at it from a distance, it kind of reminded me of Prada. And upon picking it up, feeling the material, feeling the weight of it and everything, it just furthermore reminded me of Prada. Uh, I could just tell it was a good quality sneaker. So, of course, I looked it up, as I would suggest anyone do. And they had really good comps. You can see here, I paid $6 for these in the thrift store. So, pretty good deal. Um, they're in really good condition. They only wore these a few times. It's kind of like a slip-on laceless sneaker has like a nice kind of wide toe box for some good comfort these should sell for I would say 70 so with fees and shipping taken into consideration I should profit about 45 to 50 on these next up this is actually a brand that I have never found in the thrift store. This is the first time ever. If you can read it. Alexander Wang. Yeah. <laughs> uh, very high-end brand. Very expensive. Um, these, they're kind of like an oil slick kind of color. Multicolor. And they have like a snake and bows on them. Has like a pretty nice strap here for the sandal. Really, really good shape. Um, not worn many times. Nine dollars. However, they were even cheaper than that. Uh, these were also half off. I got these at the same store where I found the Gucci and the Prada. So I paid four fifty for these. It's a crazy, crazy good deal. Uh, what a nice way to find Alexander Wang for the first time to pay 450 for it. After fees and uh, everything, I think I should be able to, by the way, sell these for I think 100 Maybe a little bit more. I'm not too familiar with Alexander Wang because like I said, I've never found it before. Um, I have also not bought any of it with online arbitrage. However, I may do that because upon kind of looking into the prices... 
it seems like there could be an okay opportunity with this brain with online arbitrage. Some of it does sell a little bit cheaper than it should, looks like. So maybe 100, 120 for these, I would say, is pretty, pretty appropriate. So with that being said, should be able to profit, I would think, about 70 to 80 maybe on these, which is really, really strong profit on these. Next, we have this extremely tall, like, over-the-knee boot. This is Vince Camuto, but what makes these extra special is that not only are they brand new, never worn, they are also wide calf, which wide calf boots... They sell extremely well. Um, I can't ever keep them in stock. They sell pretty much immediately. Um, these are also a nice size. They're size 10. Kind of like a top suede. Upon examining them, uh, there is no wear to the suede. There's no wear to the heel. They're definitely brand new. I paid a little bit more for these, but considering they're brand new and wide calf, I was totally okay with it. I paid $16 for these in the store. And with them also being like such a tall boot, they sell for more money. I should be able to sell these, I would say, for $80, maybe $90. Should be pretty reasonable. Of course, they're not going to likely sell right now with it being summer. But I don't mind paying $16 and like holding on to these for a few months and just selling them when fall hits. I don't mind to wait a few months, especially when the profit's going to be so nice on them. But with that pair, I should profit about $50 to $55 on them. <clears throat> now the last pair... Um, this is, I think, the second or maybe third time that I have ever found this brand in the thrift store. Who knows what this is? <laughs> this is Louis Vuitton. Um, this was a killer, killer find. This is, I would say, easily the number one find of the top ten. $2.99, but not only that, I actually also bought these at a store where they were doing a 20% off sale, so it was pretty much like $2 and change, but a incredibly good deal for these. Even though they do have a bit of scuffing here on the heel, they, of course, do have a bit of discoloration. They are like a suede boot, but I'm going to use like some suede dye on this and brush them out really good to make them look as good as I possibly can. I'll probably also uh, clean up the heel a bit and repaint it to make them look even better. But how often do you find Louis Vuitton in a thrift store and it's genuine and it's cheap? It's very, very rare, like I said. I can only recall finding Louis Vuitton in a thrift store probably three times, including this pair. So it's very rare to find. And we've been reselling shoes for over five years, so it's very hard to find it. Uh, anyways, considering these have like the Louis Vuitton star on this pull tab, which is an indicator that it's Louis Vuitton, it makes them worth a lot more. Um, I just wish they were like LV monogram, but you can't ask for too much, right? Because I did only pay for two bucks for them in the thrift store. Um, at least they have the star, but even without it, I'm happy with them. I don't see any problem with selling these for $200. Once, of course, they get cleaned up a bit and such. But after fees and shipping, that should leave us with a profit of at least... $150, $160 on these, 
incredible, incredible find. Something that's not going to likely happen again for a long time. Hopefully soon, but not likely. <laughs> All right, guys, with all that being said, that concludes the top 10 in-store thrift finds. Um, as you saw, there were some really, really good ones, uh, some of which I've never found before, like Alexander Wang and Birchbury, and a brand that I've only found a few times in Louis Vuitton. Uh, some incredible, incredible finds. With all of those finds, uh, on average, should profit about 70 per pair and they should sell for about a hundred each. So just truly incredible to the profit about $700 just from those 10 pairs. Um, just goes to show you never know what you're gonna find in the store. Um, so it definitely makes it pretty exciting uh, going out and like thrifting because you just never know what's around that corner. But guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I would be very much appreciated, and I'll see you all in the next video.